Uh, I told Bill I'd keep this less than an hour, so uh, I wasn't kidding, so it'll only be a few minutes. But as he knows, when I get the mic, sometimes I can uh, ramble. So I did just make a few notes, so I keep it brief. Uh, but today, after a day like today, it's really exciting. Um, as you can tell, I don't have an Australian accent. Uh, I am from the States, but I've been living down here for about a year. And it's, it's amazing to see the passion in the breeding and the beef industry down here. And that's what I think separates and sets you apart from a lot of other countries. Yeah, there's passion in Brazil, but, but you do like your cattle and, and you like the genetics. And I think that's, um, that's important. And then as we look at it from an international standpoint, we've got uh, genetics from all over the world. We look at uh, marketing genetics to all over the world. And I think that that's what's exciting about ABS and the genus company is that we are an international company, we bring an international focus or an international perspective, both from the production, genetics, and then the ultimate marketing. So, you know, it's, it's exciting to see that uh, there are, the, the Australian genetics are doing very well in Brazil and in other countries. The, uh, the other exciting part for me is that when I look at the different, the, the bovine businesses, in the dairy side, it's a pretty mature AI business. We really can't expand the AI much more than it currently is. Yeah, we, we may have uh, 25 or 30% of the cows still bred naturally. But on the beef, with the fixed time AI and all the synchronization programs, that's where I see a lot of growth potential. And, and so for me, that's just flat out exciting. You know, and I, I, we joke at, at ABS, and Bill probably does a little bit more of the joking, but when we have a management meeting, most of the time it's about five hours on the dairy and about 15 minutes on beef. And Bill keeps reminding me of that every time we have a meeting. But I see that changing, and, and I see the growth in the beef genetics and the beef industry uh, driving that. So I think our beef program is gonna continue to get stronger and bigger and better over the years. Um, just a few more things. I just want to thank David Plant and his whole team. I think that's probably also driven the, the growth in our beef business down here. Working with David, a true professional in the whole organization. Um, the, way, the way he's handled this whole organization with Bill of this meeting today and the presentations. It's a pleasure working with people that are really interested in doing what's right for for genetic improvements, improving your efficiency and your productivity. And, and I, I want to thank David and his whole team for that. Also then, just a couple more thanks again to TLG. Everybody's thanked TLG throughout the day. I appreciate the way they run their business as well, how they look after the bulls and collect the semen and put up a good quality product. Also thanks to uh, Vasco and Todd for their contributions to give an international perspective to uh, genetics and what's happening in other countries. Then uh, also to, to Bill especially for organizing the program here today. But most importantly, thanks to each and every one of you. We appreciate you coming, we appreciate your support, we appreciate everything that you do. It's a team effort, it's a relationship business, and we really want to thank you for coming today. With that, I know that uh, nobody wants to drink Somebody may have to use the restroom after sitting all this time, but enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks for coming, and have a great year.